Um, it's officially cold outside. It's only really good for one thing, and I think you guys know what that is. can hear that rattling right now or not especially when I'm talking but ever since I installed the Tomei um, when the car is cold it it like rattles a little bit I don't know what the heck it comes from but uh not too annoying but it is at the same time but it literally goes away once it's warm but uh yeah I have no idea what it is all right everybody so before we get into what this video is actually about I just want to talk about where I've been and uh I mean long story short I've just been trying to figure stuff out and Basically, one thing I've figured out in the three-week break I've had is uh, I, I love making YouTube videos. I, I really want to keep making YouTube videos, and as long as you guys are still enjoying them, I'm going to keep making them. I just ended up taking a break for Thanksgiving, and then because I, I went out of town for Thanksgiving to go see family and whatnot, and then, I don't know, just started doing a lot of thinking and whatnot, and yeah, I don't know. I took a break, and I'm back now, and I want to stay back. I want to keep making videos every week. Well, more than likely every week, like, I just don't want to push things, as in, if I don't have something that I really, really want to do for you guys, I don't want to throw something up just to throw something up. I want every video to be a good video. I tried to put as much time and whatnot into every video as possible, but like, I don't know, man. Just from now on, we'll see. May not be an every week upload, but for the most part, I'm going to continue to aim for uploading every week. But yeah, I just want to talk about that a little bit because, you know, I just kind of up and disappeared for about three weeks, which is a long time online. So uh, yeah, I'm back now and... Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's get down this driveway and into the video. This is a baby the warranty division. Can you please verify that you make it model of the vehicle so I can pull up your file? Um, yeah. A 1920 uh, Ford Model T. Okay, sir. Aside from that, do you still own a vehicle that starts from 2006 up to 2019 model in between that year, sir? How old is that? Aside from that, do you still own a vehicle that starts from 2006 up to Oh yeah, I'm getting a car wash right now, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a car wash right now as we speak and eating some McDonald's. Okay, sir, so what is the year make and model of your other vehicle so I can put up your file? Um... Um... How do I know what car I'm in? That's why we are calling you. We are taking information to make sure that we can find you here. So what is the year make and model of your other vehicle? Did you say a lifetime supply of free McDonald's? Alright, okay. I know this is a scam call. Because I'm taking this, the car. I don't even know. I'm just getting a car wash with you. I had to answer that, man. Alright, so I don't know how much of that I got to actually record, but I got a scam call. I had to take advantage of it, man. I just love messing with scam callers, just wasting their time. But anyway, you guys saw the title. You saw, actually, one more thing. This is a touchless car wash. I promise I would never damage the paint on this car. I know it'd probably be better to wash it myself, but it's touchless. Don't worry. So anyway, now, but yeah, you guys saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. Today, we are going to be talking about the new 3.0 Supra versus the new 2.0 Supra and I'm just gonna go ahead and say this right off the bat that if you're looking to get a new Supra I would highly highly recommend going with the 3.0 in my opinion the 2.0 is just not worth it for the money but now with that being said let's dive into why I think that so to start off i guess there is a reason that the 2.0s exist and uh that reason is because people will buy them honestly some people i guess some people don't really care about power all they care about is the looks and they just want to get into a super as cheap as possible because they don't care about going fast but i don't know man still in my opinion even if you don't want to go fast i feel like if you want to get a real super even though people like to bash on this thing and call it a bmw and it technically is a bmw because of the engine but i mean dude it's what we got for the new super and 
and I absolutely love it. But if you want to go for a Mark V Super, I would just have to recommend the 3.0, man. For the simple fact that once you get a sports car, um, more than likely 99% of people will always want more. Once you spend the money on a 2.0, you sunk all that cash into it, and then you get used to it, and it's not as fast as you would like it to be. Um, your only step is, I mean, I guess you can upgrade it, but it is a four-cylinder turbo, so room for upgrades. I mean, it's turboed, so it's got some room for upgrades, but the modding capabilities does not even come near this thing, and even stock, like this car stock will just pretty much wax any 2.0. I mean, I just, I don't know, man. I feel like you gotta go with the 3.0, or you'll end up regretting it. I had to hop back in the car. It is absolutely freezing cold, man. But yeah, um, well, I'm coming up on a bicyclist right now, so I guess I got some time to explain this next point, and I guess that is, there is one good thing. If you're just an absolute 3.0 purist, and you cannot stand the 2.0s, there's one good thing about them, and that's that in a few years of time at least, parts will be more readily available and be cheaper because you know, more supers on the road, yeah, they're different engines and whatnot, but bodies are the same exactly, the, the same exact body, like yeah, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do here, he's telling me to pass, so I guess I'm just gonna pass, even though it's in a sketchy spot, but uh, yeah, the bodies are exactly the same, so that way parts are interchangeable, you know, bumpers, everything like that, say you're like me and you got your car from out of state and your state does not require um, a front plate and you got stupid holes drilled in your front uh, bumper, well, hopefully in a few years maybe we'll be able to pick up a bumper, uh, you know, a stock OEM bumper or something from a, a wreck from a wreck 2.0 or something like that for cheaper, a parted out one, I don't know, man, it's just one positive you can look at, I guess, just more parts are readily available, but hopefully none of us will ever need, you know, aftermarket, I mean, replacement parts in our cars will be true Toyotas and last as long as they should. We'll get some nice fun sounds right here real quick. I think that's enough bashing on the 2.0 though. I mean, obviously, if you want to spend your money on a 2.0, nothing's stopping you from that, but I would have to highly advise to go with the 3.0 instead. Now let's go ahead and talk about why I chose the 3.0 over the 2.0T. So to start off, the obvious one, basically what I just ranted about for probably two minutes, and that has to do with the power and modding capability. Now, if you want to get a Supra and you want to do anything to it, you shouldn't even consider the 2.0 because I mean, the 3.0 is where it's at and realistically, it's the best bang for your buck. So it says it comes with 335 horsepower stock and three, I'm drawing a blank, 65 pound-feet of torque stock, but it dynos like 340 wheel horsepower to the wheels, well, I guess wheel horsepower to the wheel stock, and like 380 plus wheel torque, man. They completely underrate this car. Basically, what it says it has at the crank is what it has at the wheels. I'm sure the 2.0 is probably the same way, but I mean, dude, you gotta go with the 3.0 because leading on to my second reason the price difference so i'm not a hundred percent up to date on the price i mean you know i try to check pretty often but i don't keep up with everything and as of right now i've been seeing 20 uh 2021 2.0 t's sell for about fifty thousand dollars man which is absolutely insane because i picked this thing up about six to eight months ago for 48 before taxes and i mean dude the 2.0s are literally going on the used market for two grand to four grand less than the 3.0s. And like, if you're already spending this much money, dude, you don't want to disappoint yourself and be wishing that you had just spent the extra four grand five months down the road when you'll end up being a lot deeper than just four grand to upgrade to a 3.0. Well, hopefully not, but I mean, basically, you won't regret getting the 3.0. The price difference for what you get is basically non existent. And another reason that I guess kind of ties in with that second reason reason has to do with resale value sorry if I sound like I'm shivering I'm absolutely freezing right now but yeah if you go to sell this car in five years I can guarantee you that the 3.0 will sell for much closer to MSRP if not over who knows how long they're gonna make these things and whatnot but I can guarantee you this thing will hold its value better than the 2.0 because I mean I would have guessed that most people that get the 2.0 on this car at some point upgrade to the 3.0. I don't know how active you guys are in the Facebook groups and whatnot but I've seen so many people talk about wanting to trade their 2.0 in for the 3.0 and if you just ever think you'll want one it's better to just go ahead and get one off rip. But I feel like I've been standing here talking in this spot for too long so let's hop back in the car and continue on. So next, last I guess, and arguably the most important reason I chose the 3.0 over the 2.0, and that has to do with the sound. Now, 
I'm not saying the 2.0 sound terrible. I've never heard one in person, but uh, I can guarantee you it does not sound like this, man. Just take a listen. up on camera let me try to give it a little baby rev with my hand and listen I don't know if you can hear that bro but it sounds so so good but yeah everybody those are the reasons why I think if you're going to get a mark 5 super you gotta go with a 3.0 over the 2.0 like let's just be real both of them are pretty pricey cars and if you're already looking to spend this much money it shouldn't even be a choice whether you want to get the 2.0 or the 3.0 and if it is something that you got to kind of second guess just wait a little bit and save up you will not regret getting the 3.0 over the 2.0 even if you never mod the car 3.0 versus 2.0 stock for stock man it'll just put a much bigger smile on your face every time but uh yeah i guess that's really gonna wrap it up for this one everybody once again i apologize for disappearing on you guys so long I, I promise I won't let that happen again I just I don't even know man I don't know what was going on I just had to figure some things out and one thing I definitely figured out is I absolutely love making YouTube videos and without making videos man I just feel lost basically so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe you got any questions about why you should get a 3.0 over a 2.0 leave them down in the comments below peace out I'll see you guys in the next one